hated him. He went to the finish line. So what do you think? Do you think that uh, the Nerf gun's the best bet? game plan. <laughs> Maybe if it's a shorter distance. Oh, they're coming back for more. Caden and go. <laughs> what if we only get one usable <laughs> piece of data? <laughs> Just N of one. <laughs> Frank is like an obstacle in this course. It's been a long day already. It's only been like 10 minutes. So now that we have our footage, we can look at it frame by frame to calculate their running speed. Since I shot the footage at 60 FPS, each frame represents 1 60th of a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the frame where they cross the start line and then count the number of frames until they cross the finish line. 
In total, I counted 36 frames, which means that it took Caden 0.6 seconds to cross the finish line. Since the track length is 7 feet, his total speed is 11.7 feet per second. Now if you look at the end of this clip, you can see that he starts to slow down as he approaches the finish line, so this isn't technically his maximum possible speed. We need a lot more sophisticated equipment to measure that. So before I get Franklin's footage up, why don't you guess in the comments below whether his time will be faster or shorter than Caden's. Okay, same process, but since Frank is running away from the camera, I'm going to measure the frames from where his back legs cross the start and finish lines. And guess what? Only 30 frames. That works out to 14 feet per second. So did you guess right? I, for one, definitely thought that Caden was going to be faster. But that being said, it was clearly really difficult to get these guys to run at their top speeds in our small living room in a straight line. Maybe one day we'll find a radar gun or something to read their instantaneous top speed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you had as much fun watching it as we did making it. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.